What is up guys, it is VHS Mania Man here, and uh, I'm going to be doing another VHS unboxing video for you guys today. So, uh, recently I ordered a bunch of tapes on eBay. Finally, uh, I was waiting until uh, all of them arrived to uh, make this video, and uh, the last two came today, so we're just going to jump right into this. Um, I got my box cutter here, as usual, to cut uh, into these packages and whatnot. So we have eight packages here. I'm going to start out small and then work my way up to the biggest package, which we'll save for last. So to start things off, uh, we're going to do this package right here. Try not to leak any personal information, obviously. So let's just give this one a good cut. Um, come on. All right. And like, like this last time, I'm going to make it like a surprise each time. Uh... Yep, an MCA video cassette ink print of the Blues Brothers. Uh, now, I actually uh, didn't realize this uh, till uh, when I was ordering these, but this actually uh, is a two-tape set, uh, because the movie is so long they uh, had to put this on two separate tapes. Let me just toss this excess stuff off to the side. But yeah, here's what it looks like. And this is the second of two parts. Now, there's no sticker label on here, but there is an end label uh, to prove that it is, in fact, an MCA video cassette ink print. And there is some back here, but as I would expect, there's not a print data we can your code on this, so... Yeah. Anyway, um... Next package is this one right here, this black one. We're just gonna dig right into this guy. Looks like there's tape on it. So you can probably just <clears throat> tear that off easily. Come on. <clears throat> uh, another MCA video cassette ink uh, tape. This time it's of Cheech and Chong's next movie. Now, if I did my research correctly... This has the potential to have an extremely rare closing, so we'll see if it's got it or not. And, uh, it looks like this might be a recycled tape. It's from Fuji, so that's interesting. Don't know if this thing on the back here is like a week in year code or what this means, but if it is, it looks like the seventh week of 1981. Again, I, I do not entirely know for sure. Uh, it's got the label, uh, the end label is like almost completely gone, but you can still see the logo on it, so it's all good there. But yeah, this, this might be a recycled tape, I have no idea. But, uh, one thing's for sure, at some point I'm gonna pop this into the player and we'll see how this goes. Alright, anyways. Next package is this one right here. Oops, I almost just, oh crap. Almost just knocked my phone off my stand. All right, there we go. Back to normal now. All right, let's. This one looks a little tougher to open. I'm sure we'll find something. I'm trying to do this like without leaking anything, obviously. So it's uh, not the easiest. I'm probably going to have to black that out. It's fine. All right. Can I pull this out? Please and thank you. I could ever get this out of the stinking package. And uh, not just yet. Hang on, hang on. But it is um 
I would, I would like to mention, uh, you can see it right here, it's the movie Pleasantville. This was an item on my want list, um, not this one specifically, because as you can see here, this is a demo or promotional VHS, but this was a movie on my want list, I just never mentioned it, uh, to any of you guys. Maybe, like, a select few people on Discord, but, yeah, um, this is a demo VHS, like I said. Looks really cool. So is the sticker label, like, look at this sticker label. Or ink label, sorry. January 19th, 1999. So yeah, this is uh, one of the few uh, screener promotional demo tapes I have in my collection now, so that's really cool. Anyways, uh, after that fiasco, uh, next is this one. Hopefully this one will be a lot easier to <clears throat> dig into. Yeah, I gotta black that out, too. Okay, this one is gonna be a nasty little fella, too. Why are these, like... So difficult to open. <sighs> you know, what, I'm just gonna pause this. I'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and grabbed some scissors for this guy because this was a nightmare to like tear apart. But I got it open just enough, and. Yep. Not one, but two theater-recorded bootlegs. If you guys aren't familiar with this one, uh, this was made infamous by the VHS and CD Brony for its terrible quality. Also, um, Mr. Doolittle. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. I like how they, like, messed it up here. Anyway, yeah, it's got, it's got the New Line era and stuff. And then the other theater recorded bootleg is of the movie John Q. Also has the new line error here. So yeah. Pretty interesting stuff. Uh, now to put this off to the side and then just completely toss that over there. All right, next we have this one right here, this package. Uh, the package here says stuff like, you're amazing and thank you uh, to the person uh, who is uh, sending me this package. If you are watching, uh, you are very much welcome. Looks like it's in another uh, box. Ugh. It's like a USPS box. Got to completely shred through the personal stuff. All right, come on. Hopefully, uh, this is enough. All right, so now we just have a box here. Let's throw all this junk off to the side real quick. All right, hold. I just tore off a message, but I don't care. And... Oh, I see what it is. Look at this. Yep, a Japanese tape of Hello Kitty. Now, I know you're probably thinking, like, why in the world would you get this? But, you know, I figured, like, it was, it looked pretty interesting, so I thought I'd get it. It is a foreign tape, so, you know, I like to have those in my collection. And, uh, here's what the inside looks like. 
Nothing overly special, but yeah. Plus, my sister is kind of a Hello Kitty fan still, so I figured she'd like that. Uh, let's just toss this off to the side here real quick. Uh, I have so much junk on my bed, it's not even funny. Alright, three more packages to go, thankfully, and then we can be done with this. Next, I got this box right here. So let's... This is probably just a simple cut-in. Uh, this is going to be quick. Uh, and... I accidentally just showed that. And... Yep, this is... This one right here is part one this time of uh, the Blues Brothers. It also came with an MCA home video printing, which is cool, but I mostly got it just for this part. But yeah, like I said, this is part one of two, and you're going to see that on here. I also like how there's like green glasses on these guys. It's an interesting design. Now, the sticker label also came off on this one. However, you can still tell it's an MCA printing or video cassetting printing by the, uh, the end label. And I don't see a printed week in your code on here. Here's the uh, NCA home video print. Uh, scotch tape. Oh, the end label was falling apart. There might be a printed underneath there. I have no idea, but I'm not going to bother looking. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will. Well, what do you know? It There is one. Um, March 19th, 1986. Well, that was, uh, stupidly perfect timing. Anyways, um, now I got this package right here. It's kind of torn in already, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do this. It's in one of these boxes again. quite hang on hang on just a second here i gotta get this other tape off and yes i ordered a max and ruby vhs now you again like the hello kitty tape you guys are probably thinking why the heck would you buy this knowing yourself but you know, this is a pretty interesting tape, and I grew up with this show a lot, so I figured I'd get it. But also, you're not going to believe this. Look what this tape has. Look at that! I didn't even know this was a thing in 2005, but I guess you learn something new every day with VHS. Week in your code is the 20th week of 2005. Alright, now lastly... I've got this giant uh, box right here, but this is uh, like the Blues Brothers one. Should just be an easy <sighs> cut open. Is this one in a plastic bag? That's interesting. Come on. Oh, I know you want to come out. Videos like this really make me work out the sweat, I swear. It's only been two videos of these, but like, both times I've been working up a huge sweat. Alright. Let's see what's in here. To end it off. Oh. Oh, it's in here. It's definitely in here. I have no idea what the rest of this junk is, but it's, it's in here. And to end it off. A VHS of the movie Tex. Now, uh, what's interesting about this, I'm going to put a photo of it here shortly, but um, I mentioned um, the other day that th there's a store I used to go to and like I loved that uh, unfortunately no longer sells VHS. However, the first time I went there and like I made the whole video in their VHS section, I'm not even kidding, 
this tape was in there and I completely missed it. Here's the photo of it, like I mentioned. But yeah, I was just so mad at myself for missing it. But finally got revenge and finally got a copy of it. Uh, it has this thing right here, T120. I don't see a print date or week in year code. For sale only, not intended for rental. Interesting. Alright, anyways, um, so, uh, to recap, uh, I'm gonna bring all my tapes over here. But to recap, here's what we got. The Blues Brothers, uh, part two. Cheech and Chong's next movie. A screener VHS of Pleasantville. Uh, two theater-recorded bootlegs of Dr. Doolittle and John Q. A Japanese Hello Kitty tape. Uh, part one of the MCA video cassetting print of the Blues Brothers. An MCA home video print of the Blues Brothers. A Max and Ruby VHS. And Tex. So yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing video. I'll see you in the next video. And uh, yeah.